So the responsibility of conservation at the National Gallery of Victoria is to care for the state collection, which is a very large, it's actually the largest um, collection in Australia. It's made up of over 70,000 objects. And we do a broad level of analysis across the whole collection and treat things to preserve them so that they can be put on display or they can be um, used in exhibitions and used in varying ways. But also to go back in time and do analysis to try and understand how things in the past were made um, and how to best preserve them for the future. Almost a day wouldn't go by when a conservator's not making up solutions, maybe with organic solvents, maybe with aqueous systems, with surfactants. And they're thinking about the chemistry of their materials, uh, the surface chemistry that they're going to apply their solutions to, um, and, and also thinking about the long-term issues that anything they do use might have on those materials. So one of the things we do a lot of is ensuring that the materials that we use, um, the modern materials we apply to an artwork, are chemically completely different and isolated from the original materials. So this is obviously done for ethical reasons. It means that they can be easily distinguished in the future. But also, more importantly, anything we apply can be removed from the artwork in a very fast and rapid manner. In the past, conservation would rely on often techniques that were involved sampling, so removing a bit of the original to find out what's going on. These days, we are looking at non-destructive methods. So we can point beams, shine lights, um, use all sorts of modern technologies to achieve things without affecting the original artwork. 